Hi Soul Searchers, I'm Indigo Kelly with Soul Searching with IndigoKelly.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a way to manifest anything into your life using sigil magic. If you clicked on this video today, you probably already know a little bit about what a sigil is and how it all works. A sigil is basically a symbol that you create yourself to manifest something into your life. If you believe in the law of attraction or in manifestation, then you already know and believe that we are the co-creators of our own destiny. As long as your desires line up with your ultimate life purpose, then sigil magic can be a very powerful tool. There is really no right way to create a sigil, but I'm going to share with you today my method. I encourage you to research other methods to see which one you like and what works best for you. I'm going to break it up into a few easy steps so that you can create your own sigil at home to manifest whatever you want in your life. I have broken down how to create your own sigil into six easy steps. Step one, figure out what it is that you want to manifest. If you did click on this video, you probably already have an idea of what it is that you want to manifest. I will use it as an example. I want to manifest a new house. Step two. Write a well-crafted sentence with your intent. Make sure that it is a present tense sentence. You want your sigil to align with what is, not what you hope to be. If you use future tense in your sentence, you are aligning your energy with wanting and desire, and you don't want to continue to want and desire things. You want them to be here in the now. So you have to construct your sentence in present tense. So instead of saying, I want a new house, you say, I have a beautiful large home that is so affordable. That is the difference between a present tense sentence and a sentence that is going to continue to create that energy of wanting and desire, which we don't want to create. Avoid any negatives in your sentence like I do not or I will not. Only use positives in your sentence like I am or I have. So here I have created my positive sentence. It says, I have a beautiful house that is very affordable. You need to write your sentence out on a piece of paper. It does not matter what kind of paper you use because this is not actually going to be part of your sigil. This is just the paper that you use to write out your sentence and to figure out which letters that you're going to use to make your actual sigil. Step three, you are going to erase all of the vowels in your sentence, A, E, I, O, and U. Step four, remove all duplicate letters. No letter should appear twice. Now you have the remaining letters that you're actually going to use to create your own sigil. Step five, draw a circle on a blank sheet of paper and then you can begin to craft your sigil with the remaining letters from your sentence. When I make my sigil, I like to use something that is perfectly round in order to make sure that your circle is perfectly round. Then I trace this onto a piece of cardstock paper. This is just a blank card from Hobby Lobby. They sell these in a 50 pack. I had these left over from another project, so I use them for my sigils as well. You're going to take the remainder of the letters from the sentence that you constructed and you're going to use the letters to draw them inside of the circle of your sigil. You want to make it your own. You want to make it personal. You want to make it so that you really like the way the sigil looks. 
If you don't want to use a letter the exact way that it looks, for example, you might have a W, you can break that into four straight lines and put it through your circle. You can add dots to your circle. You can make it your own however you want it, just as long as you know what it means and that you like the way it looks. When you are creating your sigil, you can also use a straight edge. I just used the edge of a piece of the cardstock that I was using or you can use a ruler or anything for a straight edge to make sure that your lines are nice and straight inside your sigil. These are some examples of some sigils that I created myself to give you an example of what the final product might look like. One thing that I like to do to my finished sigil is go over the pencil and trace it with a Sharpie. It makes your sigil stand out a little bit more. Also, make sure that you use a really thin tipped Sharpie so that your lines don't get blurry and unlegible and it doesn't mess up the sigil that you spent so much time working on. Step six, when you really like the way that your sigil looks, it's time to activate it. There are several ways to activate your sigil. You can use some kind of your own personal DNA. You can use blood, sweat, tears, spit, or any bodily fluid of any kind. If you are going to use blood, please do not cut yourself and bleed out on your sigil. You really only need to just prick a finger and rub it on your sigil. You could even use something that's already bleeding um, or any other kind of bodily fluid. I'm gonna let you use your imagination with what kind of bodily fluid you could use to activate your sigil. If you wanna go a little bit more into detail about that, you can research a little bit more if that's the way that you choose to activate your sigil. You can also activate your sigil with moon water that was charged under the full moon. If you're unsure about how to make your own moon water, I will link the full moon ritual video in the description. The last way I want to share with you about how to activate your sigil is just by meditating and focusing your intent on your sigil. Make sure that you have a nice quiet space. One of the things that I like to do is use my sage that I have here to clear my space, just like if you were going to do a meditation or any other kind of ritual. And then you will take some white candles and make your space very quiet and relaxing. You're going to stare at your sigil and focus and meditate on the intent. Let your eyes become unfocused. Your sigil may begin to warp or become blurry or even break apart. Do this until your sigil returns to normal or until you feel like your sigil is fully charged. So those are the general guidelines of how to create and activate your own personal sigil. You can manifest anything into your life by using sigil magic. If you have any questions, please post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Also, I would like to see your sigils if you would like to share. Feel free to post them on Instagram and tag me if you'd like to. My Instagram is all one word, Indigo Kelly Soul Searcher. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please hit the post bell notification down below and subscribe. I send you all love and light and happy soul searching.